Today we're preparing for the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. And our reading, our gospel, is from the gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes, when he came forward and heard them disputing, and saw how well Jesus had answered them, asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we want to, to take the key question. It all comes down to this question that we can ask God. Are you ready for it? Here it comes. Okay, the question we can ask God every day in our prayer is this. God, how are you loving me today? God, how are you loving me today? The Jewish people had many, many commandments. The Jewish people had many, many feast days. They had many, many rules and, you know, funny hats and stuff like this, the whole bit. But it all came down to what? To loving God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our strength, and to loving our neighbor as ourself. So we look around and we're like, okay, when we go to church on Sundays, why do we go to church? Because God loves us and we want to love him back. When we celebrate Christmas, why do we celebrate Christmas? Because God loves us and he sent Jesus to be with us, God with us, to show us his love for us. Why do we have these rules like the Ten Commandments and you know, going to confession, because we want to know how to love God. And the commandments give us signposts, kind of guidance on how to love others and how to love God. But at the end of the day, what it all comes down to this one thing. How is God loving me? And how can I love God back in return? And one of the ways that God wants us to love him in return is by loving those people around us. So, when we take out the trash, or our mom and dad, we need help with the dishes, when we mow the lawn, all these different things. Those are all ways that we show what? Show our love for them. When we, you know, exercise, when we learn things, we're showing our love for God, and we're showing also our love for ourselves. Because God, who loves us, also wants us to love others, and also wants us to love ourselves. That's what God is creating in all of us. This communion, this community of people who know how to love each other, and know how to love God. And when they ask Jesus, God himself, God present, incarnate with us, what does it all come down to? He said this, to love the Lord your God with all your strength, with all your heart, with all your mind, to love your neighbor as yourself. That's what it comes down to, trying to get back to the basics. How do we love God? How is God loving us? And how can we love others that he has placed in our lives? God bless you, and have a good 31st Sunday in ordinary time.